All right, welcome to this lecture and great to see so many people. The title of this uh, lecture is Using Simulations in Development of Comfortable Urban Spaces and Sustainable Building Design. The class summary, I don't want to go in detail with this. It will mainly focus on, on how we can use these tools for creating better design. And during the different section of this presentation, I will explain in more detail when I come to the right section. And for the key learning objectives for this lecture, it is the aim to give you an understanding of how to get started, how to use these simulation, get a little glimpse of what is the possibilities and limitation, and to uh, have a more efficient process with these tools. And the, the one that is also important about visualization of these results, how important that is. Then jump directly to a few words on my professional background. Can everybody hear me without the microphone? Good. So I'm trained as an architect and originally I'm uh, also educated as a carpenter. And this is just a few examples of uh, what kind of projects and services I provide. So I both, I could take that on the next slide, both involved in uh, research-based uh, teaching at the, the Roy Dalings Academy of Fine Art and DTU, that's the Technical uh, Engineering University, and some of uh, the companies I'm working uh, together with. Besides the teaching and design, I also provide consultancy. The consultancy consists of these three parts, design analysis, educational courses, and last design development. So all these services is about creating better and sustainable design. And what I'm going to talk about in this lecture will actually be about these services and what that means. That's me, so to say. We are not going to talk about me, we are going to talk about how to use simulations. Just a short introduction how I have structured this uh, lecture. Um, and also in the same way I did with the uh, with handout, if somebody has uh, <coughs> looked at it, there is some few optimization to that one. It consists of three parts that should end up in a, in a way of making it more efficient based on my experience as well as the other parts is based on what I have been experienced uh, through uh, teaching and a consultant but also a, as a designer. So the two main uh, words for, for this presentation will be besides a lot other but efficient process and visual communication how important that is and I cannot stress it enough with the visual communication, how important it is. And all this I'm trying to put into this kind of thinking. So we should design with knowledge. So how do we do that? We start by having some conceptual studies before we actually getting into the real design. Because it's quite a challenge to run these kind of analysis uh, parallel with the design process. I will come back to this just to introduce what I'm going to talk about and some of the, the mindset. As well as this one, a level of uh, model detailing. Uh, instead of uh, talking about phases in this schematic design, that we have uh, some kind of detail level. But it's in reality, it's not in that the way uh, things work. And especially not as a designer or as an architect. You actually jump between different scale of design all the time. So instead of talking about phases, I've tried to put this into a, what actually Reddit does. It talks about mass objects and it talks possible to use uh, object-based uh, uh, models. So this is related to what we actually can do in, in Revit. So this is uh, also important. And all this I will be talking about is, is will be mainly from an architectural point of view with a little touch of engineering 